Hey guys, welcome back to Naughty Styles. Today we are on board of Go and Hot, which is a Dutch craft. This boat is available for charter here in Florida or the Caribbean. The reason we want to show you this one is because it has a lot of unique, interesting features which we haven't seen on a lot of other vessels. This is a Dutchcraft 56 cabin. actually get to be in the presence of a super cool captain captain yali come on down he knows this board in and out he is running charters on it so he's gonna show us around we were gonna like tackle it on our own and then he started showing us some stuff we're like i was like no way we can do you it gotta be in the video like this is not working yeah. so anyway why don't we start where we entered because that was kind of unique and that's how this whole relationship started here. Right. <laughs> so <laughs> tell us about the passarello Whatever so, you guys calling to board the boat, you know, it kind of just really depends on the tide, but if I've got a lower tide or if I've got a floating dock, I can come on directly with a plank, which slides in and out depending on which side you're going to board the boat. And if you're sitting on a, a dock with pilings and stuff, you can simply just step on the rubber rail and, uh, and get on that way. So boarding is really easy for anything from infants and kids to, you know, elderly people. They made it really nice and easy to board the boat. I love it. I and love it. this obviously comes up, right? So, so that's the transom, right? Yes. Yeah, so the, the transom is retractable. It comes up. It's meant for getting off the boat with dive gear on it. It's just meant for lounging and hanging out. Very cool. Start here. So we have a winch here, a couple of cleats there to tie up stern. Fresh water wash down, fresh water shower. So I've got yep. a shower and a wash down that's connected to my hot water as well. So if you want to take a nice hot nice. shower yep. with the freezing Florida weather, you yeah, can. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but if you're free diving, for example, for a while, mm -hmm. you can get cold. Exactly. You come out. It's nice yeah, to have a hot shower. Maybe get like a warm shower or something. E yeah. Even Perfect. in the Bahamas, yeah. like in January. Um, little cup holders I have going on over here. Okay, show us this So thing. we were looking for alternatives on what to do on how to fasten down our cushions. And everybody does the snaps and the zippers. And as you can see, we don't have any of those over here. So we were able to source these magnets and glass them into the inside of the fiberglass and sew them into the cushion. So as you guys can see, very simple, very easy. I mean, I mean it's there. It's, it's not, not going, going anywhere. anywhere, right? It took a while. It took a bit of trial and error, but we were able to find the exact magnet and the exact thickness in between the cushion and the fiberglass to make it so that it won't fly off at any speed and it won't rip the upholstery either. So what's underneath? Underneath here, Whoa. Oh, wow. space for both of my sea bobs, as well as a pressure washer for when I'm lazy and I can just pressure wash the deck. Nice. Um, and my brownies dive compressor. You're not lazy, you're well. saving energy yeah. for, to do other. Work cool smarter, stuff. not yeah, harder. Yeah, there you say. go, exactly. So both of these sea bobs tuck right in there. Very nice, very easy. Smart chargers connect to them. They can get hooked up and they get charged. Nice. Yeah. This is one of my favorite colors. This boat has like the coolest Bahama Exuma blues such a cool color. Tiffany green is what we like. Yeah. Tiffany green. So Tiff pretty. Well, the cool thing is, I mean, it seems like it's a very versatile boat. You have the big open deck back cockpit here for fishing, diving, any kind of other water sports activities. So, so that's exactly what the owner did when he went ahead and he built it, was he wanted a boat where he can kind of do everything yeah. and also be comfortable at the same exact time, right? where he can fish and he can dive and he can also take three, four, five multiple day trips to the Bahamas and... Oh, and what comfort. a horrible life. Moving on to the other locker, it's the same, just as big? Same, just as big. What? It's configured a little bit differently. This one is our dive bottle oh, wow. uh, storage. Wow. And there's quite a lot of storage there. Enough for 12 bottles, if I remember correctly. So you have 12 bottles down there, and then you still have eight bottle storage up here. Yeah, so when we're actually diving, this is I so set cool up all the, the gear and the bottles live here so that we can come on and grab, grab the gear it. straight into the water. Yeah. And that's your access hatch from the other, is it proof waters behind? Or? So we'll get there. You can Sorry, she's running over here. Hatch. Usually we keep fishing tackle in here, yeah. small dive stuff, you know, O-rings and little replacement parts I like to keep in here. And then underneath us right here, this is our engine hatch, which is powered by electronic actuators. We got tired of crawling around in engine room spaces and you know, trying to reach to grab strainers and different parts and stuff. So what we wanted to do was have a really accessible engine room. So the hatch comes up, comes up to a very nice angle, almost a 90 degree angle and allows to work in the engine room. So for services, nice. it makes it a lot easier. Exactly. We'll see that later. Exactly. Yeah. All right, let's keep going. And then just one last thing. We got our shore power inlet here. Shore power and inlet. And 
Stern station. Stern station for getting easy stern docking or fishing, as well as your controls for the engine room hatch and for the transom hatch as well. Oh, got it, okay. Back to the hatch. So actually that's secondary access over to the deck. Okay. So if I don't want to walk through, for example, you guys will see, I can come out through there, as well as access to the engine room underneath. Got so it. So there's another yep. one just like that. That way, okay, yep. cool. Yep. All right, let's go up. What's here? Fishing oh, stuff. it's a lot of stuff. Okay, yeah, cool. So stuff. they're on both sides. Mm -hmm. And it has a it's gasket, so it's actually a lot of resistance. Yeah. <laughs> So we have a seating area for at least six here. It's nicely protected and covered. Mm -hmm. Speakers up here. Well, seating for eight. Eight? Oh yeah, you can do eight. Yeah, for sure. Seating for eight, and then you have the big window. Oh, those are for the window. Well, that's definitely very unique. So you got lots of nice wind coming into the cabin. Wow. Whenever we get tired of the air conditioners. Oh, that feels so, <laughs> that feels so nice. You can just hand the plates right out. Plates, <laughs> like, the drinks, out, just everything yeah. very I'm, simple and easy. I plates. bet you like this is a great breakfast that people go like, this is the best breakfast ever. This is probably right the most there. used spot on the boat right here, I 100%. would say. 100%. One yeah. of them. There you go. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Yeah, super easy. So once we're here, we're coming in right into the galley to burn a uh, cooktop. Uh, What's this? Garbage. Garbage, garbage. okay. Mm -hmm. Trash, sink. Mm -hmm. Microwave oven combination. Two freezers. Nice, drawer freezers. Two drawer freezers, yeah, lots of space, so very nice for food and for stuff like that. Garbage underneath here. Oh, cool, kind of okay. Too, yeah. stuff. Cleaning stuff yeah. and more garbage, more storage like here. For the yeah, yeah they're easy. probably my favorite ones. Yeah. See my cups in there, you know, all the stuff I use. This boat is used a lot. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we've kind of ran through it and it's everything that we're missing. Oh, we need little cups for the espresso machine or oh, we're missing little spoons, you know, so yeah. little by little I picked up on everything and I, I think I've got it to a really good point. Now you feel like it's a good when spot. Good, where guests will ask me like, hey, do you have a Splenda? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so more drawers here. Cool. Lots of so space, cutlery. So where would your refrigeration be then? Well, you've got two freezers here. I mean, you got the freezers, two freezers yeah. here. Got, got here. The freezers, wine cooler. Oh, there's more. Oh, it's way more. Hold on, you guys Look gotta hold your this. horses. Ice maker. Nice ice maker, yeah. Ah, so because you have all the depth, mm -hmm. That's going all the way in so on the outboard side. On the mm -hmm. side which is pretty cool. I've got more storage underneath here. I've never seen that before. Have you, Rico? No. That's very unique. And fridge, fridge space, and another fridge. Mm -hmm. That's a very interesting way of distributing space. Yeah. Pretty cool. Moving forward into the main salon, this is the AC area, so a lot of the people trying to get away from the sun will yeah. come into here. We've got two TVs? Two TVs. So, Interesting. So if you want to sit Just here you. and watch that TV, and then if you want to sit over there I feel and like watch I'm a the sports bar here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly how it is, actually. That's speakers, awesome. speakers all around as well for superb sound. It's a really good hangout spot, and the visibility is amazing. I mean, they have 360 degree views all around. Mm -hmm. Shutters come down as well in case it gets a little bit too hot or at night mm -hmm. and stuff we put the shutters down. Nice, okay, and that's like a two step up and it's still a pretty good headroom. Yeah, there. as so you can see I'm, comfortable. I'm yeah. probably, you know, 5'11", 5'10", and yeah. good space on top of my head. I feel head. like he's really yeah. good at this tours. Yeah, you should start your YouTube <laughs> channel. You guys are hiring me? You're really good. <laughs> he does it the way I do. I'm 5'7", look how much room yeah. I have here. Maybe because I watch them all day long. <laughs> You said you never seen our channels, probably not seen guys, all the videos. Not you but I will, but now I will. <laughs> so you get two multifunction Garmin displays. Mm -hmm. Cummings generator display, Humphreys display yep. as well. That and is the coolest sign I've seen at the helm. I'm gonna steal it, this is gonna be a sticker. It's amazing. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> so you get the now, lights, running lights, everything. Yeah. Pretty straightforward. So you know, that's kind of going along with the whole point of the boat to make everything really simple, really yeah. easy. I love this rugged look to it and mm -hmm. this grab rail mm -hmm. is pretty cool. I mean, you probably never use it or need it, but it looks cool. Yeah, 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 and that's the point. And there's a lot of headroom here as well. A ton of headroom, yeah. The yeah. way that's cut out, it's very interesting. I mean, visibility, it's definitely unique because I think I've never captained a vessel being that far forward, actually. It must yeah. be weird It's nice in it, the beginning. It's nice, it's weird. I have a camera pointing aft. Yeah. So yeah. in case I need to see what's going on back there. So another thing that definitely stands out and very unique is basically your bulwarks are pretty much flat here. It's not the safest way to go forward, you know, if you're underway. Yeah, if you're underway. But you have a very safe way to go this way and you have a forward door that's taking you to the bow. So right. it's very safe. Yeah, it's they're, they're meant for, you know, while docking and, you know, mm -hmm. just to get around and Jumping stuff. off. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Yeah, it's perfect for jumping off. Pretty awesome. All right, cool. Keep All going. Right. Yeah, we'll go forward. Look at the windshield. Like it's, yeah. it's one massive curved windshield. Pretty cool. Love it. 
Okay, so here's our bow. There's a layout portion. Is that adjustable or is it always So the there? cushion itself is not adjustable. Got no. it. It's always mm -hmm. this way. It's got lots yep. of storage. Storage right underneath there and another oh, bigger wow. storage underneath here for my lines, for my fenders, for really That's great. anything that I need. Got yeah. another locker over here, anchor. Oh, that's where anchor went just mm -hmm. go. Okay. And then... Oh, wow. That is massive. Mm -hmm. Fenders. So you just drop your fenders in Fenders, there. lines, anything, yeah? Yeah. That's really convenient, actually. This feels very safe. Yeah, it is a good spot. The high, the high railings. I yeah, mean, super safe for charters, for sure. Super safe. Kids. People of all ages. The high bow area keeps me, you know, up and really high from the water, really high from the waves. So. So do you get much spray over? Not much. It has to be really rough for me to get spray. Yeah, going yeah. On. yeah. Cool. All right, let's go back in and I want to check out the flybridge. Another unique feature is that our way access to the fly is from the interior. We don't have one on the exterior. So Flybridge is probably the most used area on the boat, oh, I would yeah. say. I mean, I'm up here all the time. My guests, we're all up here sunbathing all the time. So fun. Two fridges up here, so, you know, drinks are very easily accessible. Yep. Sink for anything you may need. More storage up here. You don't have any shade that goes up here? No. No? Don't figured feel if, like you need it? I figured if you want shade, you go downstairs yeah, to the exactly. air conditioning, right? And you can get under most of the bridges probably without even calling in. So that's another point that we thought of when we were building this boat. I believe the clearance is uh, 17 feet, so we're right in that sweet spot where we cruise down right under, underneath most of the bridges. So it's really something important because I hate waiting for bridges. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. cool. That's really, really interesting. Really Not cool. something we think in California would be thing but yeah. for here for sure that's it just saves you so much time and hustle so you've got sitting area here layout sitting here. area here so more space underneath here mm -hmm. space for two paddle boards or you know a, a thingy you can really put a lot of things up here all my antennas up here as well all right and the upper helm if you guys run through that well, the visibility like a, from here is awesome. I mean, I can only imagine like driving from up here. You're so far forward. This must feel weird from up here. It's like being on the flying car. I told you, it's very far forward. I love it, you know. I enjoy it. I get to kind of have a full view of everything. And this is way cool. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can only imagine. What's the cruising speed? Cruise at 18. 18? Yeah. So going 18, like through the Bahamas waters on this. I mean, Perfect. You feel like you're driving a little dinghy. When you're, you're driving this 56 six foot. Vessel. So at the helm we got two Garmin multifunction displays, Humphrey display, a few switches for my horn, for my lights, for my courtesy lights, Volvo joystick, and another radio here. Yeah. Yeah, I mean everything you need up here. Yeah. We created these custom-made cup holders and phone holders as well. So iPad, iPad. holder, phone holder. Yeah. Smart. Yep. Oh. NBBL list, put it on. I always say like, how can boats not have cup holders? Like where do you put your drink? Love that for the phone too. But this too. is cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, so cabins? Let's do it. Yes, please. He's really good at those helm tours. I think uh, you just add to. might steal your job. Get One of your jobs. <laughs> this Damn, is. these are a lot of switches. Yeah. So you got all your high and low voltage. Mm -hmm. DC yeah. and AC. DC and AC. Man, every breaker is here. You can control the whole boat pretty much from here. I've got access to my battery chargers. Pretty much anything. Anything I need to see is down here. Very cool. Love it. Let's go starboard first. Mm -hmm. I'll squeeze into yeah. here. Yeah. So we have a double cabin. So it's a oh, three wow, stateroom plus space, crew, actually. right? Yeah. Three stateroom plus crew. These two beds slide into. Oh, the, they do. Yeah. Yep. Nice. So nothing under here, right? There is storage under that one. As oh, well. just like up. storage okay, under yeah, both of the it. beds. Yeah. Big closets over here. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. Great amount of space here. And it has a ensuite, or is it shared? So this one is a shared head with the day head as well. Oh, cool, perfect. So you've so got a full, entrance full right there. Full head, full shower. Yeah. Well, I have to go in that shower. Oh, That's okay, just yeah. part of a deal, I guess. Of course, of course. <laughs> we always do it on every tour. Of course. Like assessing the shower size by one human, person shower. humans possibly. Okay, well, yes. you fit in there. That's like a, looks a good size, right? Yeah. One and a half person shower. It's a large one person <laughs> shower. Space up here in these cabins. Tons of space, actually. This feels actually like a lot bigger than, you know, the size of the boat would normally give yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. It's very roomy. That was something that the Dutch do very well is because they're such big people, you know, big shoulders, broad yeah. shoulders, tall. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm again, 5'10", 5 5'11", 5 and lots of space. Lots yeah. of headspace up definitely here. Definitely a lot of space. You know? And having that outboard depth is definitely helping. For sure. You have the full so. beam here, accessible. And super unique. You have the of space, yep. the head there. I mean, it's super straightforward. Cool. So then on the port side. 
that's the other door for Yeah, so that's yep. your day head door right mm -hmm. here. And we we'll go to the port side. Keep going on to the port side cabin. We have the bunks here, oh, wow. also storage, the same thing like on the other side. TV mm -hmm. forward. TV. Ah, ah, washer and dryer, separate units. Oh, really? Nice. Washer Fully and separate. dryer, separate yeah. units. Very handy for my longer term charters. Yeah. We have our starboard side head. Yeah. In here. Also, okay, I see. Mm -hmm. Cool. And you can even keep going. Ah, interesting. And you'll get to your crew cabin back That's here. definitely very unique. Oh, wow. Then this comes actually in handy. So, yeah. Yep, so secondary access to come up here to the back deck and secondary access into the engine room. Got, Got it. it. Yeah. But obviously you prefer, yeah, yeah. prefer <laughs> the large <laughs> hatch. If something crazy is going on and I have a bunch of people there, I'll yeah, just, you, you know, can just sneak in there. Yeah, 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 cool. So you have storage here and here. That's a ton cool. of storage. I keep awesome. all my spare parts. And this all is pretty good. You, you still have a window on the outspot side. It's great. It's comfortable. I mean, I've so slept in here. You've got it like charter for four. They're using those two cabins and this is just really becomes like crew space. Mm -hmm. That's pretty nice. Exactly. I mean, that's probably the, the most ideal, right? Like, exactly. I mean, when yeah. you get uh, kids here, it's okay too. Because you're like, whatever, they don't yeah. care. This it, is fun it, for it them. It depends on the client. You exactly. Know, kind of feel yeah. out the situation. But you have that if you have to go on it. That's great. That's perfect. Cool. All right. Check out the master. The master, yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Oh, good headroom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm 5'7. Look, he's stealing my line. That's what I always say. I'm 5'10. <laughs> People always go, like, oh, how tall are you? I'm like, I know. Like, nobody yeah. knows. So it's very roomy, actually. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's pretty good. So it's not a walk around bed, but at the bow, we rarely get that. So it's pretty good to still be able to get and make the bed and stuff. Nice little sitting areas mm -hmm. here, which is nice for getting ready. Just as well as storage. Ex extra storage. Nice. That one is just empty. This one has got a safe in here. Cool. So you've got two lockers here. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And this is neat as well, because mm -hmm. I didn't expect to see it right. in here. Yeah, little mm -hmm. makeup locker down in here. Oh, it's a little workstation too, to be yep. able to like yep. Yep. put your computer here and check your emails and stuff. Master and have, head yeah. in here. What about you go in the shower this time? I go? Okay, <laughs> there we go. Look at that, oh, look at all that space. Yeah. This is comfortable. Yeah. I mean, if you get tired, you can have a seat in there as well. <laughs> Exactly. They can actually start showering sitting down. Perfect. Oh, yeah. boy. I get up in that age now. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're in your 60s. Yeah, yeah. but I, I look really good you for 60. Really you look great for 60. Right? Right? Yeah. You're great. I've yeah. never have guessed. Wait, well, if you both sit here and I just close you in and you're enjoying <laughs> privacy. <laughs> okay, so. No, this is great. No, it's a good amount of space and actually a lot more storage what I anticipated for, you know, just being able to put everything I mean, away. Keep in mind, it's, it's only a 56 foot pole. Yeah. They make really good usage of their space. Here. I agree. How comfortable is the ride? Extremely comfortable. Yeah. Extremely comfortable. You know, the, the Humphrey stabilization keeps everything really in place, you know, so three, four, five, six, seven foot season oh, eats it right up. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So Humphrey is fins? Fins and interceptors. Got Interceptor it. trim tabs. Look, they went with a bright interior, just keeps it nice and light. And the artificial teak here makes it very easy and containable. What's under too. here? So underneath that are my batteries. All my ah, batteries are underneath there. Do wow. You guys, do you guys want to see that? This, this whole thing this comes This whole up? thing? What? Oh, I guess that's a yes. Yeah, that's a yes. <laughs> <laughs> you thought we're not going to notice? <laughs> He's ah. like, damn it. They saw the hinges. Wow. Oh, wow. This is insane. This is pretty gnarly. What? So not much storage no room in there, way. but you know, very nice access to all my house batteries, all my battery banks, anything because, I need to access is there. Because it's a pain if you change them and they're like somewhere behind an engine and you have to take half a thing. Like yep. Again, we designed everything to make everything really easily accessible. You still have some storage there too. A little bit, yeah. Engine room, shall we? Strike again, I found something. <laughs> These are easy. I'll take yep. the heavy part. Yeah, oh, there yeah, you yeah. go. There you go. Yeah. This is one massive engine hatch. <laughs> this is crazy. I mean, it makes a repower really easy too. Wow. That's and this properly insulated too. Wow. Look how thick that is. No, I don't mind doing an engine service on this motor. Oh, it's got the generator underneath mm -hmm. there. Oh, that's a lot of room. There we yep. go. Pretty cool. So Volvo IPS 950s. Got all your through holes right here. Everything really accessible. My C strainers, my generator strainers. Yeah. Anything I need to get to. My air conditioning units are actually in this locker. That's one. And yep. then five more, if I'm not mistaken, in this locker in here. 
like and behind to access here. those, yep, to access those, you take apart that hatch, that little strip there, and you have full access to all your... Well, that makes it all very nice makes and quiet. Makes it really quiet, mm -hmm. right? I mean, yep. you, don't, you don't really hear much of the air conditioning You don't hear anything. I mean, I forget the generator is running sometimes. I you could know? see I that. I forget to turn off, I gotta run back to the boat. Oh my God, I left the generator <laughs> I could see that. Yeah. It's very quiet. Underwater exhausts make everything really clean. Whenever you hit the throttles, you don't have those big clouds of smoke coming at you. Yeah, very cool. Fire you got, suppression you got system. Underwater lights? Underwater lights, of course, the underwater lights. Where do you part. have them? Just here or do you have them something Oh, uh, no, three of them back three here. Three here, okay, yeah. cool. Alrighty, you guys, in the typical Florida fashion, we just finished some time before it starts pouring rain. So. Thank you, Yali, so much of for this course. awesome tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're interested in a Dutch craft, all the contact information will be in the description underneath the video. And if you are interested in going to charter with this awesome captain, I will put their contact information in the description as well. So thank you so much for liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing. Check us out on the Patreon. Check us out on Instagram. See you guys in the next one. Enjoy the outtakes. He stole that line, so it's <laughs> gone. Okay. Bye. All right. Ciao. Yeah. You know, if you can watch the eh, then I can watch the eh too. Yeah. Ready? I can't give you mine. <laughs> you have a lot of them. All right, it's go in hot. What did I say? Go in in hot. Go, go in hot. Go in hot. Go in in hot. Wait, it was different? <laughs> <laughs> different? Very different. Wait. It could, it could be the European accent. It say be. it. Go in hot. Go in hot. Go in hot. Go in hot. There you go. Not going in hot. No, no. What did I say? <laughs> going in hot. <laughs> going in hot. No, 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 not in. It's go not in. in hot. Yeah. Ah, I said go in. Hey guys, welcome back to Naughty Styles. Oh, now I'm nervous. They're watching me. They're, Just they're watching me. Here. Walk Just away. Look away. <laughs> that's great. That's good. That's good. <laughs> you want to come on board? Yeah. <laughs> you look like you really want to. Yeah, I won't say it. Come on in. The information will be in the description and the little blah blah blah.